All right, time now for news from the left. Purged from Congress, Liz Cheney has found a new job, professor at the University of Virginia. Cheney will teach classes on how to have no political spine and sell out the American people in favor of advancing deep state control of her country. As she mulls over an already doomed 2024 election run, when of course, Everybody will remember who she is again. Cheney had this to say about her new gig. I hope my work will contribute to finding lasting solutions that not only preserve, but strengthen our democracy. Her new former boss, Gushing, claiming this is one of the best moments he's had in 53 years, saying, with democracy under fire in this country and elsewhere around the world, Liz Cheney serves as a model of political courage and leadership, willing to pay the price for her principles and democracy itself. Thanks, Larry. Incredible how fast they all forget Liz Cheney's father was a guy named Dick Cheney, isn't it? Liz Cheney did not stand up for democracy. She stood up, she stood up for establishment Washington, protecting the big machine from the frustrated populace being crushed under the weight of its incompetence. That's who Liz Cheney really is. Don't let her fool you into thinking she cares about anything except herself and her wallet. Next up, we went from mandating masks to mandating no masks. The NYPD says take them off before you walk into any store. It turns out that thugs robbing stores at record rates in New York are still wearing masks for all the wrong reasons. They just don't want you to see who they are. Isn't that shocking? Hmm. But uh, New York, now a left-wing hypochondriac city, uh, you know, this new law might infuriate a lot of people that live here. Many have already proven that they couldn't care less about law and order because of how they vote. Next up, they continue to whine and whine, but nothing ever changes. Climate czar ketchup mistress John Kerry once again traveling thousands of miles to the Our Oceans Conference in Panama. I'm sure he brought his bikini. Guzzling tons of fossil fuels on his journey in a nice big government jet to preach about how fossil fuels are killing the world. The crisis we face of potentially so polluting this planet that we can't restore it, that crisis is caused by unabated emissions from fossil fuels that burn so that we can propel our vehicles, heat our homes, light our businesses. So, you know, John Kerry just thought he'd get a lot of credit. A couple weeks ago, he decided to sell or it came out that he sold his private jet, which we all know he, he ain't flying commercial. He's just going to be getting, he's going to be a net jet guy. He's, he's not done flying private. We know that. But I'm going to tell you this. I will not stop criticizing the ketchup mistress back here until he permanently installs a solar panel right on top of his head. When I see that, I'll shut up. I swear to God. Next up, easily my favorite story of the day. Remember that Canadian woodshop teacher with the fake cannons that cracked everybody up and ruined the entire educational experience for every kid at his school? Well, the Halton School District in Canada has finally placed this very strange bird on paid leave. Of course, it's paid. After finding out he's just a regular dude when he's not at school, as referenced by the picture there on the right. Not really much of a punishment. Just stay home and we'll still pay you because, of course, we can't fire you because somebody will call us anti-trans or whatever. The school board gave a statement to the Toronto Sun saying we continue to support the teacher in partnership with the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation. <laughs> but this guy was going to the grocery store just looking like Jack, the dude that works at the mill and gets a six pack of beer every night. But then he'd go to school <laughs> and he'd put this ridiculous thing on and expect people to take him seriously. Well, now he's on paid leave so he can sit at home and wear those things if he feels like it. And finally, wait until you see the wokeification of Peter Pan from Disney. Just watch the trailer. Are you? Lost boys. Every last one of us. But you're not all boys. So? Peter Pan? Were you expecting someone else? Where is Peter Pan? <laughs> so, so Peter Pan is, uh, is an Indian kid. Tinkerbell is a little black girl. The Lost Boys are now women. And of course, the best part, Captain Hook is still white because he's the bad guy. The only white person is the evil Captain Hook. It's just funny. If you, you can't laugh at it. You know, you might as well watch it. It'd probably be hilarious.